as you know, uh, there are a uh, number of chances of uh, DNA mutations, either due to the presence of some mutagenic agents or uh, uh, due to replication errors. So each cell is prone to uh, a large number of mutations. So in this situation, the cell or the organism must have mechanism to reverse these mutations, to repair these mutations by itself. So uh, such mechanisms exist and the organisms, the cells have number of such mechanisms by which they repair their mutations. The first clue uh, to the existence of an enzyme that catalyzes the direct reversal of DNA damage was reported by Albert Kellner in 1949. Uh, uh, he was uh, doing experiments uh, on uh, some bacteria and in his experiments Kellner uh, first irradiated bacteria with UV light at the doses that killed most of the bacteria. You know uh, uh, there are uh, some uh, wavelength of bacteria, uh, sorry wavelength of UV and uh, there is some dose of UV that can kill the bacteria. So he, he exposed bacteria to that uh, UV, that dose. Then he tested uh, the survivors to isolate the desired mutants. Because after that exposure, uh, he was expecting most of the bacteria killed. But then he found some of the survivors. And uh, then he tested those survivors so that he may get some desired mutants because he was working to, to get uh, mutants. Even though Kellner was very, very careful in his experimentation, he noticed a great deal of variation in the number of survivors from one experiment to the other. So everybody when uh, uh, performs experiments, he, he expects uh, the uh, replication of results, same results in different batches or even in the same set of experiments, there must be correlation between the experiments. And similarly, he was expecting uh, uh, the similar results, but he was surprised to see uh, there was a great deal of variation in the number of survivors. Finally, uh, he found that cells placed in the dark after UV treatment had a very low survival rate whereas those placed in light had a high survival rate. That means the bacteria which were mutated after UV irradiation and then those placed, those bacteria was placed in light, they survived. That means light has somehow uh, corrected the mutations while the plates UV treated bacteria uh, uh, were placed in dark the mutations could not be repaired and most of the bacteria were killed and there were less number of survivors in those plates which are placed in dark. Exposure to light thus reverse the, the UV light's bactericidal effect because UV light has bactericidal effect due to mutations. If many mutations gather in the genome, the bacteria will die. So uh, this light has reversed this phenomena. Similar phenomena was also observed by Renato Delbacco while studying UV irradiated phage T2. He was working on a bacteriophage which is called T2. Delbeco prepared multiple plates, each containing the same number of UV irradiated phages and sensitive bacteria. So uh, when he was doing experiments, he uh, irradiated phages and then plated these phages in the plates and he added same number of phages in all the plates. The UV treatment was also same for all the cases and the sensitive bacteria 
these are those bacteria which uh, are attacked by uh, this bacteriophage the number of these sensitive bacteria were also same so he was expecting that uh, in all the players the number of survivors should be same and uh, he then placed uh, the plates in a stack under a fluorescent bulb in the lab so he he put all these plates in a stack and then he put this stack uh, under a fluorescent bulb which was present in his lab each of these stacked plates should have about the same number of plaques plaque is a uh, uh, clear zone which is uh, formed on the plate and it is formed at the site where the bacteria uh, where the bacteriophage has lysed the bacteria so uh, uh, the bacteria were killed lysed and so a uh, clear zone was formed so this clear zone is called a plaque so he was expecting uh, almost same number of plaques in all the plates however the plaque number decreased dramatically going from bottom top to the bottom of the stack that is uh, the number of plaques uh, decreased from top to the bottom because uh, in the bottom uh, the number of uh, uh, plaques was less dalbeco explained this by proposing that the plates on the top of the stack were exposed to more light from the uh, bulb as compared to the plates on the bottom of the stack which was which were less exposed to the light he tested this hypothesis by exposing some of the plates to more fluorescent light while keeping others in the dark he he, he had in his mind that uh, uh, the light has uh, 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 in some way repaired the uh, mutations so he was trying to uh, test this hypothesis as expected the number of plaques on the plates exposed to light was much higher than those left in the dark the number of plaques in the light plates the plates kept in light was high that means when he irradiated phage the phage got mutated but uh, and the phage should not be able to uh, uh, attack the bacteria and lyse the bacteria but when he placed these phages in light light repaired the mutations in the bacteriophages and making them uh, enabling them to uh, attack the bacteria so the number of plaques was more the bacteria were somehow using visible light to repair the uv damage dna in the phage so the bacterial machinery was used to repair the mutations in the phage and by with the help of light the chemical basis for this light dependent phenomena which dalbeco called photoreactivation the dalbeco called this phenomena as photoreactivation but the chemical basis of this phenomena is uh, remained to be elucidated